Good morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. We've reached the end of the week. We've also reached the end of the book of Proverbs. We're in the very last chapter this morning, 31. So let's read this together. The sayings of King Lemuel contains this message, which his mother taught him. O my son, O son of my womb, O son of my voice, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, uh, to guzzle wine. Rulers should not crave alcohol. For if they drink, they may forget the law and not give justice to the oppressed. Alcohol is for the dying and wine is for those in bitter distress. Let them drink to forget their poverty and remember their troubles no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, yeah, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. Who can find a virtuous and a capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She is like a merchant ship bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare, to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect the field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread and her fingers spin twisting fibre. She extends a helping hand to the poor and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. She makes her own bedspreads. She dresses in fine linens and purple gowns. Her husband is well known at the city gates, where he sits with the other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise and she gives instructions with kindness. She, watches, she carefully watches over everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. Her husband, her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Reward, for, reward her for all that she has done. Let her deeds publicly declare her praise. Amen. And that's the end of the book of Proverbs. An interesting way to end the book, talking about a king and a wife. Um, the king is being set a very high standard. Um, he's been told by his mum not to drink so that he doesn't slip in his wisdom. Um, he's, she's telling him that he has a, an important role to play and to be responsible in it. Uh, he says there in verse 8, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those who are being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. A lot of the Old Testament is about standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves and bringing justice to them. And this is no different. Um, and that's what this king is being told to do. You, you, you've, you've got an important role. Help others. Be there for them. And then it's quite interesting what she says about a wife or his wife or the best wife for him the wife is very busy she's always working and it's quite actually quite interesting because a lot of time people would say oh ladies don't work whereas yet this wife here is working hard it actually says about um how with her earnings she plants a vineyard um it says she makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. It's about not being lazy, about getting stuck in. Uh, that's a great example for all of us, isn't it? Not to be lazy, but to be um, to be workers, to actually go about what, what we need to do. Not to sit back and rely on somebody else, but to actually be responsible for ourselves. And that's what this person is doing. And then through that, that she will be praised for her deeds. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's 
suppose it's challenging in these days whenever so much thing so many things have shut down and it's easy for us to get lazy in so many different ways we can get lazy in our daily routine we can get lazy in the things that we do or don't do but it's easy for us to get lazy when it comes to god's word isn't it it's easy for us to think oh, just i'll do it later i can't be bothered right now Whereas by sticking to that routine, by sticking to that pattern, how we benefit from it. That wife, by sticking to her routine, she has the day's honest work done. She has a household that functions. Um, she brings money into the house and her household benefits from it. By us being deliberate in what we do with God's words, by taking time, making sure we set that, that time up, aside and getting everything in the right place how the benefit of that will follow through everything else that we do in the day um, and how we will then know God with us strengthening us helping us guiding us and directing us because that's what it's all about um, asking God to be there with us every step of the way because we know that we can't do this life by ourselves but we we need God so let's be hard workers hard workers in what we do day by day, but also hard workers in that, that we we definitely set aside time each day for God, that we definitely take time to read his word, to pray, even just to be quiet, just to sit quietly and to, to sort of reflect on what he has done for us, um, just as we talk to him. So let's, let's do that now. Let's be quiet for a moment as we come to pray. And then let's ask God to be with us, to strengthen us this day and to strengthen us in the days that lie ahead. Let's pray. Father, thank you in the quiet and in the still, you were there. Thank you that you are always with us. That you promised to never leave us or forsake us. Lord, help us to make time each day to spend with you, to read your word and to come close to you through prayer. Just to be able to do this, Father, just to be able to, to talk to you and to sit in your presence and just to know that you're with us. Lord, please give us wisdom. Help us to look out for those who can't look out for themselves. Help us to be honest in what we do, hardworking in what we do. Help us to draw close to you. Lord, as we head into this weekend, we ask that you would help us, encourage us and strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me again this morning. Tomorrow morning, no, uh, they will not have this time. And then on Sunday morning, uh, we have our service at 11 o'clock. Uh, so please, if you can join in with us at 11 o'clock, please, you'd be very welcome. To, to watch along and to join us. Um, if you're watching it later on in the day or in the week, that's fine as well. Uh, please do remember that if in the meantime there are any birthday blessings to let me know um, so that I can put them in as well. But please take care and God bless and I'll see you again on Monday morning at half nine. Bye for now.